Hello everyone, today we are going to solve baseball game. It is a uh, easy level problem. So let's understand the problem first. So we are given a, uh, we have to keep a score of a baseball game with some uh, rules. So the rules consist of several rounds where the score of past round may affect the future baseball. Okay. So what we have given is, we have a given a list of operation where operation I is the highest operation. So let's see what are the operation we can do. So an operation can be X. So we have to create a new score. If it is a plus, then we have to record a new score. That is the sum of previous two score. Okay. And it is guaranteed that that is two previous score will be there. Okay. And if operation I is B, that means we have to double the previous score and it is guaranteed that previous score will be there. And if C, that means the previous score was invalid score. So we have to remove it. Okay and then return the sum of all the score of the uh, on the records so let's understand with an example so we are given this operation array okay 5 2 c d plus okay so and the output is 30 so let's see how the output is 30 so first operation is 5 second operation is 2 third operation is c c means invalid operation that means we have to remove it from our record so our record is 5 only okay now d D will be record a new score. So we have one score is this new score will be two into five. That is 10. Okay. And then we have a plus the plus will, will be record a new score. So five plus 10 is 15. So this is our new score. Then, okay, array is finished. So now at the end, we have to sum all this number that is 10 plus or uh, 30. Okay, so how we are going to solve this problem? Let's understand it. Solution 1. So how we are going to solve this? So actually what we are doing is we are going to if we have a character like say C, D or plus. So in the step C, we are going backward to our previous step. In D, we are going to backward to our previous step. In plus, we go backward to two steps and add them. So in such case, what we do is use any stack. Okay. So how we are going to do is if it is an integer, okay, then we store it. If it is five, we will store it in a stack. If it is two, then we store it in two. Okay. Why we are using stack is because we need the number which goes last. Okay. So last in first out that is our stack. Okay, so we add five, then two, then as soon as T is coming, that means T is the invalid. So we pop out. So if our operation is operation of I is equal equals to C, that means we have to, let's say our stack is ST. So ST dot pop, we will pop our top. Okay, so now if it is a D, so what we will do? As if, if our operation is, um, it is D, then in that case, what we are going to do, we are going to push an element, which is double that the top of this. So that will be 10. So in that case, we will push twice into ST dot top. Okay, so now the last case is plus. If we have a plus, so as if our operation is to add a score, in that case, what we are going to do is we need to first pop out our 10. Okay, so let's say I'm going to pop out in x is equals to st dot top. Okay. And for this number, we have to first pop out this element. So let's say we pop out st dot pop, and then we take int y. That is st dot top. Okay. And then we have to push it again back. We remove it. Then we find this five. Okay. So we have x equals to ten. We have y equals to five. 
now again we have to add this 10 okay so again so we can do st dot push x okay so, and then we need to finally add 5 and 10 that is 15 so for that we will push st dot push x plus y okay so for that operation we first post find latest two element and then sum up sum it up and the last condition will be if it is an integer then else in else case what we are going to do is we are going in else case what we are going to do is we will just post it and if it is an a string so we have to first convert it into the integer so how we are going to do we can use our stui function okay it is a standard function in a string library so a standard stui function and we will oops i okay finally after doing this what we will have we will have our stack st which have 5 10 and 15 then finally what we are going to do is while st is not empty we are taking one variable let's say in sum equals to 0 we will we will do sum plus equals to sum plus equals to st dot top and st dot okay and then we finally return our sum it is a very easy problem so let's see the code actually i have read the whole code but anyway let's see the code so this is the solution here we are taking uh, initializing one stack and then if it is c then we are copying if it is d then we are doubling if it is plus we are taking two element and then adding them and otherwise we just take uh, convert our string to an integer using s2a function and this and finally after doing all the steps and we just pop out all elements from the stack and sum it up and return the sum so what is the time complexity here time complexity will be of n time complexity will be of n okay and the space complexity will be of n okay where we are using this space we are using a space in stack okay to store this element so finally this time complexity of n and space complexity is of n so yeah this is the whole solution if you have any doubt you can ping me in the comment section thanks for watching bye